welcome to this video on setting up a two-way coupling for an electrothermal management and ETM using ANSYS HFSS and ICEPAC in the AEDT student version. In the previous videos, we have discussed how to set up a one-way coupling for an electrothermal analysis using an automated wizard and a step-by-step -step approach. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the two-way coupling simulation from the one-way coupled setup in the AEDT student version. We'll see how to set this up using the EM to ICEPAC ACK extension as well as the step-by-step -step method. Let's get started. Here's the AEDT student version interface showing the Twisted WR15 waveguide simulation model used for the one-way coupled analysis. An additional step in the HFSS design is needed to do the two-way analysis. So copy and paste the HFS design in the same project. Change the design name to something to easily identify it. Confirm that the HFSS design for the two-way coupled analysis. Look in the history tree windows. Expand the model in the solids category, right mouse click on the aluminum material and select its properties. The thermal modifiers need to be set for the materials in order to do the two-way coupling. The thermal modifiers define how the material properties change with temperature. And when you can use the thermal modifier data from the ANSYS material database or the information from the specific material supplier or manufacturer. To define the thermal modifier, click on view, edit material button. And in that pop-up window, the electrical properties are displayed. Click the checkbox next to the thermal modifier to view the thermal modifier column. And since the resistivity of the conductors is temperature dependent, the thermal modifier for bulk conductivity needs to be defined. Click on the thermal modifier cell corresponding to the conductivity and select edit. A window for the thermal modifier pops up. You can either use the expression form or the quadratic form by using the respective radio button and you can edit the default equation or import or create a temperature dependent data set. Under quadratic form, you can either use the basic coefficient set or advanced coefficient set option. Or again, update the thermal modifier with the supplier or manufacturer data. Click OK to accept the changes in the thermal modifier and you'll notice the thermal modifier is set. Click OK to accept the changes. In a similar way, you can also edit the thermal modifier for the relative permittivity and the dielectric loss tangent, material properties for the FR4. In the Project Manager window, right mouse click on the HFSS design for two-way coupling and select Set Object Temperature. In the pop-up window, check Include Temperature Dependence to enable the temperature dependence for the HFSS design. Check the enable feedback box to enable the loop for two-way coupling. And now the HFSS design is ready for the two-way coupled analysis. Go ahead and launch the EM to ICEPAC ACT extensions in the wizard page. Select the design, the simulation type, the mesh settings as shown in the one-way coupled video that uses the EM to ice pack toolkit, navigate to the two-way coupling section, select yes for two-way coupling, input the number of iterations, and we'll keep the default number, select yes to continue the ice pack iterations during coupling, input the max number of iterations, again we'll keep the default, click on launch to generate the model, go ahead and watch the windows open and auto-generate your ice pack model geometry with the required setup as generated from the wizard selections. Click on finish to exit the wizard and close the act extension. Use control D in the 3D modeler window to fit the whole model geometry. In the project manager window, click on the ice pack design and feel free to rename it 
modify the existing solution setup as done in the one-way coupling. Select OK to accept the changes and under the solution setup, you can see a two-way coupling option is now added. Double click on the solution setup to view the options that were set as selected from the EM to ice pack wizard. For the step-by-step -step procedure, copy and paste the one-way coupled ice pack design and then rename it accordingly. In the project manager window, expand thermal category, double click on surface and volumetric EM loss one. In the pop-up window, click on setup link, a new window pops up, click on edit link, Change the HFSS design to feedback one. In the variable mapping tab, click on map variable my name. Click OK to accept the changes. Expand analysis category. Right mouse click on the solution setup. Select two-way coupling. Then choose the same options as in the act extension. Right mouse click on setup one and select analyze to start the analysis. And during or at the end of the analysis, go ahead and right mouse click on the setup one and select residual to look at the convergence. And after the first coupling iterations, you may notice a spike showing the adjustment in the temperature. And this flattens out as the iterations progress until the convergence is reached. And after the solution is converged, go to the profile tab to view the solution profile Browse through the profile to find mapped EM losses, and you'll see an increase in the mapped EM loss as compared to the one-way coupled model. And this increase are losses due to the temperature dependence of the material properties of the geometry. Therefore, the resultant temperature will also increase. The two-way coupled results will be closer to the experimental results when compared to that of the one-way analysis. You can notice that there's no change in the velocity plot from the one-way analysis. So in this video, we've shown you how to perform a two-way coupled ETM electrical thermal management workflow. And with this video, we've completed the electrical thermal management ETM using ANSYS HFSS and ice pack. For more videos on HFSS or IcePack or any other ANSYS simulation tools, please visit courses.ansys.com today.